if metaphor objects can be utilized in geometry nodes, it's going to be very easy to express a variety of expressions. However, there are still some difficulties in utilizing metaphors in geometry nodes. The reason is that geometry nodes does not recognize the metaphors as an instance. This video and the next video will cover the use of metaphors in geometry nodes. The results of today's video are as follows. Select a cube object and go to edit mode with all vertices selected. Press M to create a single vertex. Create a metaphor object and hold down the command key. Select the cube object and press Ctrl P to set parent-child relationship. If we select the vertices tab in the instancing option from object properties tab of the cube object, a metaphor object is created at the vertex location of the cube object. Apply geometry nodes to cube object. If we add a mesh line node, we can see metaphor object at each vertex position. We can see that metaphor objects in all the built-in mesh primitives of geometry nodes. There are many ways to use it, but first of all, let's create a simple animation using the icosphere object. The beauty of animation using geometry nodes is to use the scene time rather than keyframe work. Taking advantage of the radius figures in the icosphere will help us understand the animation that utilizes the scene time of geometry nodes. This is what we want. If the radius value of the icosphere moves within the sine graph within the specified range as the timeline plays, we can get this kind of effect. As the timeline plays, we want the numbers to change. At the scene time node, as the timeline plays, we want the values to be adjusted within the range of the sine graph. So we'll add a math node and switch to sine mode. The basic configuration is finished. All we have to do is now is adjust the speed and range of motion. Adjust the speed by adding math, multiply node to the scene time. Adjust the width of motion by adding a scale node of vector math after the sine node. There are a few nodes, but they don't look complicated because they are lined up. If you understand this configuration, you will be able to easily join us in the next slightly complicated configuration. In the next session, we will look at ways that are a little more complex but much more diverse. The more you get used to the geometry nodes, the more important it is to simply express the same result. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time.